last we will learn about literals. A literal represents a value of a certain type where the type describes the behavior of the value. There are different types of literals. They are number literals, character literals, boolean literals and string literals. Number literals. There are several integer literals such as int, long, octal, hexadecimal, etc. 4 is an example of a decimal integer literal of type int. If a decimal integer literal is larger than the int, it is declared to be of type long. A number can be made long by appending capital L or small l to it. Negative integers are preceded by the minus sign. These integers can also be expressed as octal or hexadecimal. A leading zero to the integer indicates that the number is an octal integer. For example, 0987 is an octal integer. A leading 0x to the integer indicates that the number is a hexadecimal integer. For example, 0xAF94 is a hexadecimal number. Floating point literals have a decimal part and an integer part. Floating point literals result in a floating point numbers of type double. By appending small f to a number, it can be changed as type float. Exponents can be used in floating point literals by using the letter capital E or small e followed by the exponent. Boolean literals. Boolean literals consists of the keywords true and false. Character literals. Character literals are expressed by a single character enclosed within single quotes. Characters are stored as unicode characters. Escape meaning. Slash n new line. Slash t tab. Slash b is for backspace. Slash small r is for carriage written. Slash small f is for form field. Double forward slash is for backslash. Double slash backslash. Slash with a single quote will give you the single quote. Slash with double quote is double quote. Slash DDD is octal. Slash XDD is hexadecimal. Slash UDDDD is for Unicode character. String. A string is a combination of characters. String literals are a set of characters that are enclosed within double quotes as they are real objects. It is possible to concatenate, modify and test them. For example, this is a test string, represents a string. Strings can contain character, constants and unicode characters. When a string literal is declared, Java automatically creates an instance of the class string and Initializes it with the value specified. Expressions. Expressions are the simplest form of statements in Java. These statements return a value that can be assigned to a variable. The following are examples of expression. X plus 15, count divide by 2, total minus 1. Operators. Operators are special symbols used in expressions. They include arithmetic operators, assignment operators, increment and decrement operators, logical operators, bitwise operators and comparison operators. Arithmetic operators. Java has five basic arithmetic operators. Each of these operators takes two operands one on either side of the operator. 
The list of arithmetic operators is given below in the table. Operator is plus meaning addition. Example is 8 plus 10. Operator is minus meaning subtraction. Example is 10 minus 8. Operator is asterisk symbol. Meaning is multiplication. Example 20 asterisk symbol 84. Operator is slash, meaning is division, example is 10 slash 5. Operator is percentage symbol, meaning is modulus, example is 10 modulus 6. The subtraction operator is also used to negate a single operand. Integer division results in an integer. Any reminder due to integer division is ignored. Modulus gives the reminder. Once the division has been completed, for integer types, the result is an int regardless of the type of the operands. If any one or the both the operands is of type long, then the result is also long. If one operand is an int, and the other is float, then the result is a float. The following example illustrates the usage of arithmetic operators. Okay, open a new file in the notepad and, and type the following program as follows. Okay, like this. Now, I have typed class 3. So, this 3 is the class name and also the file. Okay, class 3 begin like this then type public static void main string args okay so this is the main function of the program now begin this is the flower bracket in x is equal to 10 semicolon all the dear students please remember that all the lines in the java program should be terminated by the semicolon like this. Okay. Int x is equal to 10 semicolon. Dear students, please remember that all the lines, all the statements in the Java programs should be terminated by semicolon symbol. This is semicolon symbol. Okay. So, int x is equal to 10 semicolon. Int y is equal to 20 semicolon. Float z is equal to 25.98f small f semicolon this f means small f means float okay now system dot out dot print ln open the bracket within the double quotes type the value of x plus y is a semi double semicolon plus this is the concatenation symbol plus here within the brackets x plus y close the bracket semicolon so like that you type the remaining statements okay so here x plus y is for the addition means uh, the plus symbol uh, denotes the arithmetic operator that is plus symbol and this here z minus y means minus this is subtraction so likewise x Asterisk symbol y I have used for multiplication. So, so like that system dot out dot print ln within the bracket you please type type like this the value of z divided by y is plus within the bracket z slash y like this you have to give okay. So again here system dot out dot print ln within the brackets type the value of z this percentage simple we call it as a modulus okay this is modulus y is plus z modulus y okay now after typing the program now close because we have used two begin here these are the two open flower brackets so number of two should be followed by two close brackets these are the close brackets okay since i have used two open brackets so, it should be followed by two close brackets. So, this is the complete program. You have to type like this. So, here class name is the 3. So, this 3 I have given. You can give any name. 
but that name should be the file name in java you should always remember whatever the class name you gave that should be the file name now i have stored going to the file save save as 3.java now i have stored i have stored this file in a uh, new save as i have given uh, 3.java 3.java I have already given so I am just showing you I will not be saving it now okay 3. Dot, if I give 3.java it will ask for whether you want to replace it okay see 3.java here save as type you have to select what all files here you have to give all files so where I am saving local disk C in that new Java is my folder name in this I am saving you can give click on save see it is asking 3 dot Java already exists do you want to replace it so I will say yes okay now I have replaced this file okay now you know how to type the program already have explained you in the previous class so this is the way okay so you have typed the whole program this program illustrates the usage of arithmetic operators which are the arithmetic operators addition subtraction multiplication division modulus okay now we will see see here x plus y now you have assigned x is equal to 10 y is equal to 20 when you add x plus y it should display you uh, x plus y is x is 10 y is 20 so 10 plus 20 is how much it should display 30 right so like that so z minus y z is what 25.98 f f y we are putting f small f means it is a floating point number okay the value of z 25.98 f float minus y y is how much 20 let us see how much we will get the answer like that x div x into y x into y 10 into 20 how much it should display 200 z divided by y what is z this is the value of z so that is 25.98 divided by 20 it will display then z modulus y what is z 25.98 modulus y what is the value of y 20 so when you give this it should give you the reminder modulus means what it will display the uh, reminder so now we will now you know how to save how to type this program how to save this program now I will show you how to run this program okay now we will you have to remember the path I have already set the path now we will go to the command prompt where is the command prompt go here now you can give cmd cmd if you give cmd it will display command prompt like this okay now you have to go to the path where it is c d c d now it is in c program files c d one second let me check up okay just i'll check up the path you have to remember this PC. Now C is my drive. In C drive, I have saved it in just observe the students new Java. Okay, you have to remember this. So C in C you have a uh, new Java. Okay, this I have stored here. When you double click on this new Java, what I have given three three is my file name. Okay, T H R W. -E. This is my file okay 3 dot java after compilation it will okay now it will give you after compilation it will give you a dot class file okay now you have you have to observe where is your java program okay in c program files i have downloaded in jdk java in c Program files, you have to remember this. C, program files, Java in Java, JDK-17.0.1. This is the path you have to remember. And I have also set the path in my computer. So, C, 
प्रोग्राम फाइल्स जावा जेडी के सेवेंटीन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन इन ऑर्डर टू रन द प्रोग्राम यू हैव टू गो टू द कमेंट प्रॉम्प्ट सो दिस इज द कमेंट प्रॉम्प्ट सी एंड डी गिव लाइक दिस क्लिक ऑन दिस कमेंट प्रॉम्प्ट नाउ आई विल गो टू माई पाथ सी डी CD program files program F I L E S program files then CD Java then CD J D K hyphen seventeen point zero point one now this is the path every time dear students you need not remember this path provided if you set the path in system variables that i i have already explained but once again i'll explain you uh, so every time you need not go to this okay uh, just for the sake of um, how to pro how to compile the program i'm explaining you uh, explaining it okay so without this also you can do it directly by going new java now i will compile the program it, in order to compile the java program you should come till jdk 0.0 17.0.1 now i will give j a v a c java what is your class file name 3 yeah this is very um, case sensitive capital t h r w e 3 is my file name that is class name 3 dot java see like this you have to give java c this is your 3 is your class name means your file name t h r w e 3 dot java okay now i'll give enter it is giving error file not found 3 dot java java option okay why it is giving like this means well, i have saved that file in new java so again what i will do is now already this path is set now i will directly compile without going to the program files okay so it is telling that file not found because in jdk why it is showing means in jdk hyphen 17.0.1 we didn't save there where we saved in c new java new java is your folder name now i will exit now i can do one thing cd slash i will give okay now now see students i will compile the same program now it will not give error okay students now i will change the directory to new java cd now i will compile the file java 3 okay see here you got the errors like this no now here i have compiled it is not giving me any errors means your program is correct okay now after compiling 3. java will develop a class file how is that class file i will show you here wait now again i go to this pc c new java is my folder can you observe students here t h r see this is T H R double E three dot class. After compilation, uh, the Java file develops a class file. Okay. Now we will run the program. Okay, now I will run the file. After Java, okay, 
okay after uh, compiling java 3.java we have not got any errors then if you don't have error means it will come like this c means the drive your folder name then it will come here now we will run the file java th class name the class name is java3 see students you have got no the value of x plus y is 30 means x what we had given 10 y is equal to 20 so when you add x plus y it has displayed 30 the value of z minus y is 5.97995 then the value of x into y is 200 because x we had given 10 y we had given 20 so 200 the value of z divided by y is 1.299 the value of x modulus y is 5 point I mean with the reminder it will display 5.97995 okay so you can observe here so hope you have understood this okay students now we will uh, do a program for assignment operators okay now uh, just go to the notepad first editor when you click on the notepad editor it will open a file like this now uh, I, I am just uh, typing the um, uh, what a file a program that is class assign open the bracket these numbers should not be there java doesn't contains a line numbers okay so I am just removing the line numbers here these line numbers I had typed for explaining you in order to save the program just copying this and pasting here and removing the line numbers okay so here we are demonstrating the assignment program so here java doesn't contains any line numbers it should not be typed so just to explain I had typed it in my notes. Okay. See class. This is the new file. I have typed class assign open the bracket means begin. Public static void main string args. This is the main function. Int a is equal to 1. Int b is equal to 2. Int c is equal to 3. A plus is equal to 5 means a is equal to 5 means a plus is equal to 5 b star is equal to 4 c plus is equal to a into b c percentage symbol is equal to 6 now after all the lines in java should be terminated by semicolon okay system dot out dot print error this is for printing output these are the output functions now a is equal to plus a, b is equal to plus b, c is equal to plus c I am giving. After typing this, your class name is assigned here and your Java is case sensitive. All are, just observe this, all are small letters, a double s i g m. We have to give the file number as assigned like this only. So go to file, save as. What is that is a class name? A double S I G N all small dot Java. Okay, Java extension and the file type is all files. You have to select like this. Okay. Now where you have to say my my directory is local disk is C. In that my directory name is new Java. In that I am saving the uh, file. Okay, so Assign dot Java you should remember. This is the path. Local C new Java. Okay. Now I have saved this file. Now I will be compiling it. I will compile it. Go to the command prompt. Now J A V A C Java. File name is class name. File name is the class name. A double S S I G N. All are small letters dot Java. So this is the statement for compiling java c assign dot java. Okay. So it is giving error. What is that error? Source files list of possible options. Okay. Error file not found. 
A double S I G N. A double S I G N. Okay. Okay, students. Now we'll type a program in Notepad. So in order to go to the Notepad, so you come here, click on the Notepad. You'll get one uh, editor. Notepad editor is open. Now I, I have typed the program class assign. So open the bracket public static void main. This is the main function. Now now give the integer a is equal to one. Integer b is equal to two. Integer c is equal to 3, a plus is equal to 5, b star equals 4. So these are the variables I have assigned with the values. Okay. You have to remember that in Java, all the each line should be terminated with a semicolon. Okay. So c plus is equal to a into b, c modulus is equal to 6 I have given. Now 3 uh, put statements I have written, system dot out dot print ln. A is equal to, it should display the value of A, B, C. Okay, after typing this whole program, you have to save this in a directory. Okay, now go to file, save as, assign. See, you have to observe, class name is A double S I G N. Okay, so they are all small letters. So, I told you Java is case sensitive. Use the class name as it is. Suppose if, if you have given class, and the first letter this A is a cap A, then you have to give as it is only. Since I have used all the small letters, I am using the small letters only. Okay. Now A double S I G N dot Java extension you have to give. Okay. So this is your file name is the class name is the file name. Now save as type by default you will get text document. You should not save by this. Now you have to save this by giving all files okay select all files now where i am saving this you should observe in c new java is my directory so click on save okay so already my program was there now i am replacing that file okay now we will run so now we will run this program before running you have to compile it okay so after compiling uh, it will generate the dot class file now we'll go to the DOS prompt. So here you have to go to the directory CD, C, new Java. In new Java, my files are there. Okay. So now I will compile this program by giving Javac, Javac, J A V A C file name. What is your file name? Class name. What is the class name? Assign. All are small letters. A double S S I G N dot Java. So, this is the way to compile the files. Okay, since uh, it has come to the next C new Java prompt and it is not displaying any errors, means your program is perfect. Okay, so now after compiling this, Java will generate a .class file. Okay, if you want to see this, I will show you. So, go to the C drive. In C drive, new Java now, what is my file name? Assign, right? See, it has generated. Assign dot class means it has generated the class file. After this only, we, you can, you will get the output, okay? So, in order to run the Java file, you have to give Java file name. What is my file name? Assign. A double S S I G N. Assign. File name is the class name. Now, just see, observe students. A is equal to 6. B is equal to 8. C is equal to 3 means perfect. So, you have assigned the values to the variables. A, B, C are the variables of type what integer you have given. So, it is displaying the integer values, right? So, this is what you get the output. Hope you have understood this, students. <music>